are back. Back. Whoa, it's changing color. Oh, let's get this one. Okay, we are back and we are playing some more Terraria. Let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and fight the new. We're gonna not new. We're gonna go ahead and fight the dungeon guardian again. Hopefully we win this time. Um, there any potions? I got help. Okay. Other potions. Let's go ahead and get some buffs. We are buffs. Um, buffs. 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 Nah, I'm not going to be regenerating. So I'm grabbing them. Yeah. Let's get that. Let's grab ourselves one of these. One of swiftness. I'm sure we only need an archery potion. Then I'm going to need a well fed buff. So I'm going to have to get some fish. Which means also the potion. Fine. We'll get a fish or two to cook up and use to fight the Dungeon Guardian. We can cook them in the merchant's house, I think. Whatever. In one of those houses, so we should be able to cook them. So I'm fish up, a fish, a fish. I know I'm gonna go fight the Dungeon Guardian. Because we need to fight the Dungeon Guardian. We need to beat him in order to beat Hard Mode Guardian. We need to beat the Guardian. Yeah. Dungeon Guardian to beat Hard Mode. I mean to get the Hard Mode. For hard Mode because I'm uh... I think a lot of people when they're playing Expert Mode, they do it after they reach Hard Mode. And that's just a bit... Iffy. Because I'm uh, sure you get stronger weapons and you can beat him definitely easier. It's just that uh, I think you're better off beating him before hard mode because then you can get the, the stuff in it and the stuff in it is only useful before. Mm, put this over. Grab C Rogue. Sure I'll buy that. Oh, yeah. Now here it looks more fancy. I know. I'll have to admit that. Anyways, the new computer runs great. We are getting 54 FPS. 54 FPS. 53 FPS. Whatever, it's raining. Can't blame it. It's raining. Um, it's running really nice. It works really good. It got a G an Asus Asus GTX 750 Ti, 2GB V V RAM, and um, uh, so it got 2GB V RAM, and um, uh, the processor on this computer is a um, uh, AM3 sock AM3 Plus socket. It's a AMD FX. 4, 350? I think something like that. Either way, it's 4.2 gigahertz, and it came with a really nice um, uh, it got some 8 megabytes catch, and it got some uh, a really nice cooler with the copper tubes and everything. Copper pipes, I don't know if those are tubes or pipes. Whatever, it gets copper on it and everything. It looks like an aftermarket one, even though it came with it. It's a really nice cooler. And the, um, uh, CP, I mean, not CP, the graphics card is overclocked. It came with overclock functions, so I can overclock it. Put it in overclock mode. There's silent mode, and then there's just gaming mode. Um, overclock mode is for when you're playing, like, a higher expectation game. Like, say I want to play Fallout 4, and I'm getting, like, 20 FPS or something. Which, I probably wouldn't get 20 FPS with this computer build, but, um, say I want to put in higher graphics, and I can't, because I'm getting 20 FPS, because I'm getting high, I like high graphics, and I want to play it on high graphics, it looks beautiful, um, I can just overclock it to, I can just put it in overclock mode, and I should be getting those extra 10 FPS, right then and there, if I put in overclock mode, of course, it will get hotter in overclock mode, and I shouldn't really play the game for, like, 12 hours, because that could not damage, but shorten the life of the CPU. Not CPU, GPU, graphics card, damn it. I'm CPU, I'm missing CPU. Graphics card. So, the computer's like really nice now, it's gonna do me some good to have this. Um, because it's a really nice computer. Um, it has like 
Windows 8.1 on it, mainly because I had a hard drive sitting around with Windows 8.1 on it, and I just slapped it in there. And it's really nice and everything. It's just like, I will maybe upgrade to Windows 10 sometime later. I just didn't want to waste the time installing an operating system, even though I did buy a hard drive with it. Instead, I'm just using that extra hard drive for, ga for games and, uh, for games and, damn it, for games for like installing games to it and putting videos on it so actually this game this game is installed into the extra hard drive the extra hard drive is like is um, a 320 gigabyte 7200 rpm really nice really nice um, uh, hard drive and i got three hard drives in here right now so that's pretty nice the third one is just an old laptop one that I used to keep things on so I got that hooked up in there just to get all the things off it. So it has like the intro on it, my editing stuff, and all that. It's uh, it the, the operating system on it's broken, so it's not gonna use that as a main. It just it doesn't have like it. It was a laptop one, so it doesn't count. I'm uh, Ethernet hookups. So, like you can't connect internet to it directly. It will just say. We no internet access because it doesn't have because it wasn't built with a um, uh, connector to it. Whatever, something like that. It just it's broken or something. I don't know. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Ooh, I like this fire. This is purple fire. It's purple like my skin. Night is a bit far away. So let's go ahead and have some fun a bit. Let's go way over here. Anyways, yes, games will be games that I'm recording are Terraria, as you can see from this video. Um, I will be doing more Dead Frontier. Don't ever expect that to stop for a while. I'm gonna break some, but I can't always come back because it's a game that I honestly like. But I do have to admit, it does get boring for after a while, and then you just gotta take a break and come back to it later. Um, I'm honestly almost at that point, but I'm. Uh, I think I can keep playing for a little while. I did stop for like a couple months before, and I just kept signing into the account to keep the account alive and everything. It's just um, uh, sometimes it gets a bit boring to keep playing it over and over again all the time, because the game just it. Sometimes when you can't get farther on it, it just gets a little irritating. You just get stuck. Ooh, look, strange plant. Wow, that's a weird jelly. Um, so this game is a bit about the same because I haven't gotten any further on it. Uh, but I think that was mainly the resolution. Where right now we're at 720p. It plays great 720p recording with shadow play. Um. So it's playing great, it's recording great, everything's just great right now with the game and the graphics card and the computer's just great. I got my gaming RAM, it's just like 8 gigs RAM with the, with the cooling shell on it, so it got the cooling, the, not the coolant, but it got the, the um, uh, case around the RAM stick so it cools faster. So they run that much faster. I think they're GDDR3 RAM. I don't know. The graphics card gets a GDDR5, so that's pretty nice. Um, we'll we'll come back once he's once he's ready to fight. So okay, we're back and we're about to fight this old man here. <laughs> Okay, I almost lost my mic. 
Better with this computer, but still not strong enough to beat him. We'll probably have to get to hard mode to beat him. That sucks a bit because everything in there is useless after hard mode mainly. So that stinks. Um, see you guys later. We will next episode. We'll probably continue working on the underground dungeon, trying to get a guide, voodoo doll, and whatnot that's very important so see you guys later hope you had a nice time hello guys this is Brett here on the right we have two map showcases of my choosing and on the left we got a couple videos you know a couple good videos over there go check those out some nice videos and on the bottom right we have that pretty subscribe button go ahead and push that we all know you want